What's going on guys? Hello, it's me. I'm back and um, I wanted to do another tier list um, of Digimon animes and I was going to do it a lot sooner but there was a funny little um, funny little TV series called Ghost Game. I don't know if you heard of it um, but anyway let's get started. Uh, I'm going to go in chronological order and I'm not going to be talking about the movies um, only because I think that can be its own tier list in, it, in and of itself so let's begin. Digimon Adventure. I'm gonna put that in A tier, right? Fucking beautiful anime, right? I love Digimon Adventure, but... Up until the Dark Masters arc, it was pretty much everyone had, like, something to do. But once we entered Dark Masters, literally Ty and Matt were the only characters that mattered, right? So, realistically... Like, if it had more from the other characters during that ending, and also, fucking, all of a sudden, what, there's this guy who talks about pizza crusts for, like, five minutes? Can we can we talk about that? Like, there was, like, fuck all build up towards it, even in the dub. Um, not the dub, the sub. Fuck all build up to Apocalypse. So, if they built him up maybe a little more, I would agree. Um, and put it in S, but as it stands, A tier. It's still good, like, I fucking love adventure. Unfortunately, it's let down by that pretty lackluster final arc. Moving on, Adventure Zero Two. Love the Digimon Emperor arc. Holy shit, that fucking that shit's Kino, right? That shit is fucking amazing. But then what happens next? You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? It kind of it's kind of like, well, shit. We don't really have anything to do. Just knock down a bunch of towers for. 50 episodes you know that that will fill time and again it suffers from main character syndrome where i'm actually fucking coining that phrase holy shit main character syndrome where it's only davis and ken that matter um and i mean tell me right now tell me right now what the fuck does yoli and cody fucking do and it fucking sucks because like i've sung my praises about armadillo mon till the cows come home right I fucking love that guy, and Hawkmon is fucking one of the coolest rookies that that's ever been designed, right? But they do fuck all after the Dark Masters arc. The, 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 after the Digimon Emperor arc. There's fucking nothing from them. They do fuck all. Um, so, I'm gonna put that in B. Fuck that, fuck it. B. Yeah, B will do. Uh, oh, 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 spicy take. Here we go. Digimon Tamers. I'm not gonna fucking defend the opening, like, too, too much. Like, I get it, right? It's the start of a new series, you sort of have to build it up, and I get the argument that, yeah, this opening of Tamers was pretty slow up until the Davis show up, but I wouldn't have done it any other way, you know what I mean? Like, I could think of ways that I'd improve Adventure in O2, but Tamers, I can't really think of it, like, the... The slow start is kind of important, you know what I mean? It builds up the characters, it builds up what it's about, and yeah, I, I, I can't really think of any fault. I mean, it, it's fucking good. Uh, it's, it's really good. I love it so much. Frontier. Oof. 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 <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. Fucking love Frontier, right? Again, first part. First part of Frontier. I love. Alright? Like, the... Ten evil... No, sorry, not ten evil. Like, the five evil spirits versus the five good spirits. Cherubimon, you know, being the puppet master behind it all. It's it's pretty good. Like, the first part. And I, to be fair, I do need to rewatch it. But... Again, there's four characters that do fuck all after the main arc has been sort of dealt with and then we're running around fighting two demon no oh, two demon two fucking royal knights and a fucking demon lord and they're just fucking useless they're just there and it it, it fucking boggles my mind right because Seraphimon gives the power to um to Kuya and Koji to fucking double fuse right so why the fuck didn't Cherubimon do that with Duskmon like Duskmon was his last fucking soldier and he didn't fucking think about it. Like, he just was like, oh, fuck it, whatever. You, you just fight him yourself, you dickhead. You're on your own. Fucking, to this day, it still 
fucking annoys me because Rhyhealmon is fucking badass. Like, he's a fucking cool looking Digimon. But Terubimon decided to just cuck him. <laughs> he just got cucked. Um, D. I, I still like that first part, and that first part's really fucking good. But then everything else just kind of fucking fell off. Data Squad Savers. Okay. I fucking love it. I, I love this fucking series so goddamn much. I love the idea of everyone having their own unique way of activating the Digivice, and Marcus just goes up and punches the biggest thing he can see. It's fucking hilarious. But, like, it's more than that, you know what I mean? Like, there's so many good characters. Like, even the background characters. Like, with Tamers, right? You've got, what, Takato's two useless fucking friends who do fuck all, right? But then you've got all these people in Dats who are fucking just incredible characters in of themselves. Like, Commander Samson is fucking Dilf material, you know what I mean? Like, he's fucking good. Like, I'm gonna probably get shit for this, but I actually like Data Squad more than Tamers. Like, you, if you haven't watched it yet, you owe it to yourself. It's, it's pretty fucking good. I fucking love the villains that show up. I will agree that Keenan's a bit of a fucking dickhead. Like, he's a bit of a fucking knob. But at the same time, like, the only thing I could really improve on him was to make him more Tarzan. Like, you know what I mean? Like, instead of talking, he was grunting a lot or whatever. I, I, I don't know. That's just how I would improve him. But, hey, to each their own. Savers is fucking good and you need to watch it. What's not good is Fusion. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I've never, I've watched like partway through the first arc and I had to put it down. It was just fucking stupid. Like, I, I don't, I don't know. I didn't like it and I couldn't sit through it to finish it. And usually with bad dubs, like the one piece dub that four kids did, I'll usually watch it because like, it's just a stupid idea and it's so dumb, but I, I, I love the corniness of like really shitty dubs. Fusion doesn't really have that for me, and I don't know what who was behind censorship, but why the fuck did they call Lilithmon Laylamon? It's such a stupid fucking name. I, I, again, that's a different story, but I mean, I couldn't fucking finish it. D tier. And of course, I, I'm not sure which one of these two down here are supposed to represent the fucking hunters, uh, the fucking follow up, but uh, same deal. Um, if I couldn't finish the first part, then there's no fucking way I'd finish the second part. So, I guess that's kind of where that one would go. Uh, so what was next after that? Oh, right, yes, of course. The one that fucking Lost in Translation Mon never shuts the fuck up about. App Mon. I've not watched it. I'm just gonna come straight out and say it. There's, like, fuck all places to watch Digimon anime, like, legally. So you have to resort to pirating, and I've just never gotten around to it. Um, I need to watch it. I've heard it's pretty good. I reckon I would enjoy it. I just haven't watched it. So hang on. What I'm gonna do? Uh, App Mon. I mean, to be fair, right? I mean, it's kind of a spin-off, so it's its own sort of beast. So I'm okay with it having its own TL. And granted, I do need to watch it, and I should probably finish watching Fusion and Hunters, but. Again, I'm probably just going to shit on it, <laughs> to be completely fair. Moving along, we don't have much left to talk about. It's now on to Digimon Adventure 2020. Digimon Adventure 2020? Um, oh boy. Um, oh boy. The opening was a bit meh, right? Like, they rehashed our war games for whatever reason. It was completely just rehashed and then it was just sort of introducing the characters i don't know just it did seem pretty rushed upon hindsight it was to show us that oh, omnimon was going to have a bigger role and he was going to be more important to the story now granted i do think the middle part of digimon adventure 2020 is fucking good like the parts up until we fight dun devimon and then we go on to fight millenniumon were pretty fucking entertaining like, I was able to be entertained for quite a long time through it, and I know people were struggling, but I did like the idea of them making their way up to 
up to Millennium on. But that final fucking arc was just stupid. Like, it was so fucking dumb. Like, Ty, for no reason, was just everywhere. And it, it didn't make sense. Like, imagine that fucking big fuck-off tree that they were in at that fucking part where Burpmon showed up, right? They split out, and let's say that's the center point. How the flying fuck has Ty managed to just fucking travel all the way around when all the other characters have just split off completely? It's... It's such a dumb fucking idea, and like, I don't, I, 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 to this day, I think they were just fucking with us. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I get the feeling that the writers were just like, ah, fuck it, just throw tie in everything. And, um, <laughs> it was just so stupid. And then, I, I, I will give it this. Negamon. I, I hope that's his fucking name, otherwise I'm probably in trouble on Twitter. Um, he's a fucking cool Digimon. His design is fucking cool. I like how he's just like this twisted version of Omnimon and it's up to... Um, oh fuck, I completely forgot about them. The split evolution paths. Holy fuck, how could I forget about them? They did them fucking dirty. Like, they only showed up for like one episode and then did fuck all after that. You know what I mean? Like, why the hell couldn't we have more Blitz Greymon and Kresgarurumon? I probably would have liked Kresgarurumon more if we got to see him more. Yeah, you know what? Uh, I'm going to put you down there with Frontier. Like, I, there's one arc that I think is really fucking good. And then it just sort of... From there. Here it is. The hot take. The hottest of takes. Fucking ghost game. Ah. <sighs> Boy, ghost game. I'm going to be completely fair with it, right? I get what they were trying to do. They were trying to do this sort of episodic mystery show. You know what I mean? But with these kind of shows, they, they have either multiple mysteries that come out and fill all the shit that's unnecessary yeah they've got filler episodes every now and again but every so often you'll get a, a slight hint or you know they'll introduce a smaller mystery that will then be resolved a lot sooner you know what i mean and it'll just sort of tie it all together and make it more cohesive ghost game didn't happen and it's probably its biggest weakness is the fact that it had a very long runtime um and what fucking killed Ghost Game for me, personally, because I was watching every episode. I was starting to get a little bit annoyed that there was no real story. But I loved the characters. All, all six of the main cast were pretty fucking good. And you had some really cool background characters who, you know, were just really good to the story. Um... Especially Pokemon, like they did him dirty. But I'm getting I'm getting sidetracked because after about episode, I think it was like was it the one with Arukenimon? I think it was the one with Arukenimon. Toei had a fucking data hack and they couldn't release episodes. And that just killed any momentum it had for me. Uh, I after after the next episode, I think it was like the Skull Greymon one that came it came back with, and I was like, holy shit, Skull Greymon, I need to watch it. Never got around to it, and then I just sort of started missing episodes when they came out, and I was thinking to myself, you know what, I'm just going to put it down, and I'm going to wait until the plot kicks in, because it's just filler at this point, and I can catch up with the filler later. A little did I know I'd be waiting for six fucking months. <laughs> Here's what I thought was going to be the first main plot of Ghost Game, because... It was sort of getting towards that point. I thought with Clue Scammermon, the, the black one, he was trying to link minds with Hero, but Hero didn't want to do it because Hero's a pussy. And then in episode 17, they showed that, yep, you can fucking link with them um, in emergency situations. So here's what I thought was going to happen, and it never did, and I kind of got disappointed. 
So I thought there was definitely going to be a fourth character. I mean, Digimon have done that since the very fucking beginning. There's always an extra character who shows up and stirs things up a little bit. You know what I mean? I thought they were going to introduce this character who fucking hated the world. He hated everyone around him. Not quite like an Elliot Roger kind of character, but on that sort of spectrum. I thought they were going to introduce a character like that. And for whatever fucking serendipitous reason, he ended up getting a, one of those stupid fucking watches and he just didn't have a Digimon partner. And he would have been involved in some stupid episode where Clues Gammon would have shown up. He would have seen the hatred he has for the world as Gammon, and he would have just fucking wrecked shit because he would have linked with him and he would have been like, yeah, fuck it, why not? And then afterwards, you know, he would have been defeated and, you know, returned to Gammon, and then that guy would have just fucked off. He would have vanished. But he would have found another person who wanted revenge, and it would have been one of the other ones from an earlier episode. I'm just going to say Dracomon for convenience sake. And then it would have been this whole character arc where he's a dickhead, gets the shit kicked out of him every time, and then slowly learns to be a better person and accept people. And then when Plus Gammon runs into him again, he, he would have just told him to fuck off. And I thought that's where it was going. It didn't. And we got fuck all afterwards. So, Ghost Game. I like the characters, but um, uh, I don't want to put. It, I don't want to put it in D. I don't want to put it in D. And I don't want to put it in B. So I'm gonna put it in C. I'm probably gonna do it like. Yeah, fuck it. That will do. Um, and just for, to be fair, I'll put Hunters above because. There's one part with Hunters that looks pretty fucking entertaining, and um, I'm not going to tell you what it is. I mean, I think you can kind of see it down the bottom there. Um, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tell you what it is. You're gonna have to figure that out for yourself. It's a fucking really cool idea, and I've wanted that for the why a while, but it's in a shit series, so I couldn't care less. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, that is my tier list of Digimon anime. Um, it took me a while to do because Ghost Game is a fucking drag. Um, and yeah. So, I probably will do the movies. Because the movies are down here. And they'll probably be its own thing. I think I've seen pretty much all of them. Except, I think it's the Savers movie. Which I really do need to watch. I know what it's about. But anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. And I can tell that some of you guys are going to be really pissed at my anime takes. Which... Fair enough. But you need to remember something. It's a very important lesson. So I'm going to end this on a very good song. Enemies gay, how about up the jack, do the race. Enemies gay, whipping any, I don't care the gay. If you lead to enemy, then you'll probably be a gay. If you are a gay, step back, stay away Anime is gay, it's in Japanese anime People on the internet are turned on by some anime Anime is weird because hentai is a sin And if you talk in anime, I'll shoot you in the shin Anime is gay, anime is gay, I be repeating lyrics like it's taking Groundhog Day so -so Sonic says, anime is a sin, it has to go in the bin Anime is gay, anime is gay, anime can you please go away Anime is the super triple mega gay Anime should really go away. An an anime is made by the Japanese. I could get a neurological disease. Anime is gay. Anime is gay. Hop out of the jag, do the race. Anime is gay. Whipping nini, I don't care the gay. If you like Japanese cartoons, then you're probably not a gay. Anime, just stay away. I hope you die in a gay. If anime was a real person, he would be dead. Because I shot anime in the freaking head. Japanese people should stop making anime. Anime is a problem in the USA.